Hey everyone, Jesse here. Wanted to uh, do a video on biochar. Uh, I'm testing out this method, which is basically charcoal briqu briqu briquettes. Um, I started up in the uh, Weber chimney, charcoal chimney thing. Um, I surrounded them with concrete blocks. And in this uh, $20, I think it's a six inch by 24 inch tube, chimney stove tube. It's a single single layer of pipe. Um, I capped it off with a rock and in the middle of that are just wood pellets. So I started the briquettes, put them down in here, surrounded with cinder blocks, and I'm letting this tube heat up that is full of wood pellets. And you can see that it's not, it sh hopefully it's not on fire. Uh, but this is the test. It should just be smoking off any um, organic material and at the end of this hopefully um, there's no smoke left and at that point in time I'm going to stop putting um, charcoal on on this and in the middle of this tube should be a tube full of biochar which is basically just um, I think it's basic pure carbon so it should be super light black um, it's charcoal well it's basically past charcoal is uh is what it is so we'll see about 45 minutes to an hour or so if this stops smoking and uh, i'll do a video on on the results but so far working pretty good thanks for watching Hey everyone, this is about uh, 45 minutes into the burn. You can see still some ash, still some coals in there. But I wanted to show that the smoke from the chimney is less than it was. So I'm going to keep going. Um, I've been going, putting in more wood and stuff to see if heating it up does any changes, but if it consistently is going down and down and down, then I know that it is about done. So we'll give it some more time and see what happens. Okay, so it is Sunday morning after the burn of the biochar. That was the rock that was on top of the pipe. And I think that must be like wood vinegar, liquid smoke, something like that, because the smoke would come up out of the chimney and little holes and you can see that there's definitely charcoal in there. Can't tell if there's smoke still or if that's just the camera. Um, so I'm gonna start deconstructing this to see how it looks. And I would say this was an okay method, but not the greatest. I need something that would actually the smoke's coming out here, which can burn off, and then you have basically no smoke. If this just had some sort of surrounding and then a chimney on top, and somehow the flames were getting to the top, um, that would be better. It would burn off everything. It was smoking the entire time, but not a ton of smoke. Um, we'll see how the pipe did after one burn. It's a chimney pipe. So I would assume it'd be fine, but who knows. And then the bottom had plenty of charcoal and I was throwing in wood chips and stuff to burn the entire time. Um, so as long as the bottom had uh, airflow, then it's going to burn and turn to ash. looking at all the wood chips and stuff. And I put some uh, mud at the bottom. It looks like that carbonized too a little bit. 
You can see right there. Yeah. So this was sitting on a on a um, on a rock so that it was sealed at the bottom. So I'm gonna take this off and dump it into a wheelbarrow and then we'll see what it looks like. So it's working pretty good, but before I burn a hole through my um, before I burn a hole through my wheelbarrow, I think some of this must have gotten there must have been some sort of flame not burning very much, um, but obviously enough to uh, burn some of it. So that's interesting. And I guess I should have done this last night after I was pretty much done with it. Let's see. So the first, the bottom half seems to be very light. You can see it crumbles pretty easily. Um, I guess a test you can do is rub it around in your hands. And if there's still organic matter or whatnot, this will not wash off. The water is warm. And I guess I already had some water on my hands, but it seems like it worked. And I'm going to soak this in water. Still got some uh, clay soil. Uh, but my plan is for this, for this first batch, I'll probably grab a, uh, the plan for this first batch, I'll crush it up more. Um, I'm going to put this in the, uh, fish tank and it'll filter out some water, suck up some nutrients. And then at that point, once it's got some life in there and everything, I will put that into the garden beds as I see fit. So surprisingly, it burned, it seemed like it burned it all pretty good. I'm trying to find, there might be clumps where it should have done a better job, but it's still pretty, seems like it's still pretty good. So biochar in general just has a lot of surface area. Um, I forget how much, but it's a great housing habitat for bacteria. It sucks up moisture, I think seven, seven times its weight or something like that. Um, seven times its weight in water, so it can hold a lot of moisture. And then it just makes the uh, the bacteria, nutrients, everything, it absorbs a lot of things. And so when you put that into your garden bed once or twice, um, ideally you have about 20% of biochar to soil, um, just all mixed in, and then seems like you're done. So uh, like I said, my process is gonna be, put this through the fish tank. I'll probably have it show you. So either I have these floating rafts, and maybe I'll do something in there, um, put it at the bottom of one of these or something, the water's always kind of moving through here and there. Um, or I might dig out one of these, place a biochar in there, and then this will raise and lower the water levels uh, so that it'll constantly go up and down. And looks like we're filling up right now. But yeah, should filter out, absorb a lot of nutrients from the fish tank. I don't have a lot of fish in here right now. Maybe uh, there was some tilapia in here who died over the winter. There is still a catfish that you can barely see down there in that uh, cement block. And then I have a couple other uh, bluegills. And then we have our 
ranger patrolling everything. So, with that, thanks for watching. Um, I'll have to uh, think about a different design for the biochar. I think it worked, but too much smoke, not ideal. Um, I also, the chimney itself seems like it's in okay condition. I had, I had thought that the chimney could take the six inch chimney cap, but I was wrong. Um, it was that end that I had already placed everything. But yeah, after one burn, um, we'll see how long this thing lasts. It was a $20 6 inch by 24 inch pipe from Home Depot. So it seemed like a good bargain. All the other uh, methods were using like paint cans um, or five gallon paint cans and they say they always burn out. But I saw one video with this and they said hundreds of burns or something like that. So um, the lid has a couple holes in it. Um, the other side I am probably going to see if I can cut and fold and so that it's closed off so one side will have the lid and the other side will be closed off um, one thing I saw that is if you had a pipe like this you could throw the entire pipe assuming it's closed off on each end and there's holes in the middle and then put that in the fire so that might be an easier way to burn off the gas that's just coming up if you just drilled holes, it's surrounded by the entire fire, and then it burns off that gas. Um, so that might be a good option. Um, I'll just rearrange this, build a fire in there, and then maybe kind of make walls and everything so it kind of has the chimney effect. Alright, with that, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll do more videos later.